Hello! In this presentation, we will share with you the results obtained in the project Use Case Biotic Interactions Integration of Biodiversity Data of Wild Bee Plant Interactions in Mexico. The results from this project are available in the user community under the name of Chicotli Data. The project was financed by the European Union with the Biodiversity Information for Development Program and developed with the collaboration of six Mexican institutions. Join us to discover how we are contributing to the diversification of the GBIF data model by emphasizing biotic interactions. Mexico is a country of bees, with at least 2,155 valid species belonging to six families. In this infographic, you can appreciate the density of native bee data for Mesoamerica. The data have been compiled and curated by the ECOAF Native Bee Collection, which is located in the Ecosur unit of San Cristobal de las Casas, Chiapas, Mexico. Of the almost 113,000 records in the database, more than 70,000 have information on the plant visited by the bee specimen. These records represent around 55% of the records of the interaction between native bees and plants at the Mesoamerican scale integrated into the collection. It is important to highlight that before this project, the information available on bee plant interactions in the collection had yet to be cured, integrated, or mobilized. The other two sources of information on the bee plant interactions, such as publications and data from citizen science platforms, such as iNaturalist, were in the same situation. We have spent an important part of the time and resources curating, integrating, and mobilizing the data. In the Chicotli Data Project, we focus on integrating information on available biological interactions in iNaturalist, the entomological collection of bees, mainly in the ECOAP collection, and in publications. Thus, the curation and mapping of the data integrates information about the when, the where, what type of interaction, what the species are like, and what they do according to their ecomorphological traits. For the moment, we focus on three of the most common native bee families in Mexico. Apide, which includes groups such as bumblebees, orchid bees, carpenter bees, and stingless bees. Alictide, also known as sweat bees, and megachilide, known as left cutter bees. Information integration is based on Darwin Core standard. However, the use of information fields from other associated standards such as Plinian Core and Audubon Core was also explored. In this way, Chicotli data is fully compatible with diversifying the GBIF data model at the level of biotic interactions. To learn more about the structure of the data model and dissemination materials such as infographics and user manuals, we invite you to scan the QR code in the lower right corner. In this way, with our participation in the diversification of the GBIF data model, we expect enhancing and implementing a standard data model for ecological data integration on wild bee plant interactions at the Mexico scale, promoting the participative and collective verification in the taxonomical and ecological sense of the wild bee plant interactions records and consolidating a rigorous and dynamic source of information for the study, management, and pollination conservation. Beyond the where and when, let's talk briefly about the ecomorphological features considered in the project. For plants visited by native bees, we consider four groups of traits, seven types of biological forms, 17 corolla forms, eight general corolla color combinations and distribution. This last feature highlights whether the plants are native or exotic at the scale of Mexico. In the case of bees, we consider three groups of traits. Sociality. Regarding this trait, the bees can be classified as social, solitary, or parasitic. Body size. Bees can be classified as small, 
equal or large depending on if the size of the specimen is smaller, equal or larger than Apis mellifera that is about 10 millimeters. Finally, the nesting traits of the bees can be classified as above ground and below ground. We consider it necessary to indicate the type of interactions between the bees and the plant, and we define three types of interactions, floral visitors, pollinators, and nectar rovers. These three categories can be assigned based on observational information associated with the sampling data or based on literature. It is interesting to mention that the most frequent type of interaction integrated to the data set so far is floral visitors. For our case study, we focus on the records available in the ECOAF Native Bees Collection directed by Dr. Remy Bandami and located in the ECOSUR unit of San Cristobal de las Casas, Chiapas, Mexico. To learn more about the collection and the work of the ECOAP group, we invite you to scan the QR code. The data model was fed from the information available on the bee specimen labels. In the photo, you can see a male and a female of the species Diadasia australis. These specimens were collected in different locations, the male in Oaxaca and the female more than 500 kilometers away. Both specimens were collected while visiting the Tejocote tree, Crataegos gracilior, which offers edible fruits that are very popular in Mexico. As part of the work performed in the Chicotli Data Project, our expert taxonomists verified all the species names of the plants visited by the bees before entering the information into the data model. As a result of the work carried out between January and March of 2023, it was possible to integrate 17,245 native bee records with information on visited plants into the data model. This way, it was possible to incorporate ecological information from 189 bee taxa which were floral visitors for at least 318 plant taxa. For this, the information was distributed in 14 of the 28 tables available in the GVIF model. The implementation and articulation of Chicotli data within the framework of the expanded GVIF model data offer us a starting point to address scientific questions about the factors that can negatively affect the health of the interactions between native plants and bees of the Mexico ecosystems. Also, it offers the opportunity to connect with other research groups in other parts of the world. Thank you so much for your interest and attention. For inquiries, do not hesitate to contact us.